We are live. Got my mic on. Let's do a little housekeeping here. What's up, everybody? So today we got the release of the much anticipated Ferrari DLC, the Ferrari Essentials Pack uh, for Project Cars 2. I'm going to jump into it for a little bit here. Uh, fortunately, I don't have a good thumbnail. okay um, so we got eight new cars and let's see two new tracks we have the uh, Mugello circuit which has two layouts and we have Fiorano hey everybody hey GT Josh hey Adam hey Monal thanks for stopping by my thumbnail broke so we'll just use uh, old one for now I guess or just no thumbnail whatever I don't care <laughs> so let's see I think we got that correct sorry I'm setting everything up here okay Okay, so, like I said, uh, two new circuits, two layouts of Mugello. We got the GP layout and the uh, short layout. It's been a while since I've driven Mugello. We also have Fiorano, which is the Ferrari test track. Hey, Anchor R, what's up? So, where's my phone? I want a tight schedule today. Uh... Okay, so, as far as cars go, ARVR, <laughs> no, I set my stuff up and it's got to run for two hours, so I ran home real quick. Okay, in terms of cars, we get the 250 GT for Lynetta, um, 250 Testarossa, what else do we got, a 458 uh, Speciale, uh, those are all road cars, 512 BBLM, which I'm not really, I don't know a lot about that car. Um, 355 Challenge, which is an awesome car. Uh, F12 TDF, uh, another road car. F40, not the LM. <laughs> hey, Gabor. Um, the FFX, FXXK. Those are our cars. So we've had the F40 LM, but we haven't had the road going version. It is not a free update. If you have the season pass, it comes with it. It is Germany. So let's hit Mugello, since I actually know Mugello. I say no. It's been a long time. So if you know me, you know the F40 is my favorite car, as you can see on the wall back there. So let's see what kind of options we got here. We got brake ducts. We got a handbrake. We got brake pressure. Uh, it doesn't include any GTE cars. The only GTE car is the 488 GTE, which was already in the uh, in the game. So no new GTE cars. Um, I guess there might have been the 458 GTE, but uh, that's not included. Boost pressure, differential. So basically, the F40 is a race car for the road, right? So we got all the normal things. 
Hey, Tomahawk, what's up? I mean, basically, though, the F40 is by far the best car because pop-up headlights! <laughs> The best feature ever on a car. Also the feature most likely to break, but as a child of the 80s, pop-up headlights are a must. Hola, Matthias. How are we on sound? It's pretty low to me. Tell me if it needs to go up, the game audio. I'm sure I'm quite loud. since I've driven Vigello's bear with me. Understeer! Hola, Jaff. Oh. Forgot how tight it was. Mugello is essentially, I would call it, a series of chicanes. Some straights. They're not really chicanes. They're more like S-curves, maybe? of different radius. So it's all about speed through the corners. Ooh, that's nice. They got a nice little mist effect going on. I got only light cloud on, so I didn't like set that up. That's awesome to see. Sorry, I'm slow as hell, but it's either that or put it in the gravel. So I got the circuit in winter. Uh, at like 8 a.m. or something like that, so we're getting sunrise. So coming with this was uh, all the update stuff. So we got patch 1.7 yesterday. Uh, that was relatively minor, I would say. It's had a lot of fixing things that are, you know, non-specific items. They say they've improved the uh, penalty system, the driving line AI, um, all of those things. Back half of Michelle, I have no clue where I'm going. Oh my God, the braking boards to let me know. How you doing, Jaff? I saw you were doing prototype this morning. Sorry, I couldn't get in there. I had to rush to load my stuff up. Yeah, I've never driven Fiorano. I've seen some footage from it, but I've never driven it. tighter than I think. So I'd say the F40, it's a road car, it needs some work. But it's basically a race car, so it's got a lot of options in terms of setup work, so definitely can see myself diving into this. Drove the F40 LM uh, the other day things at least. This is a little more tame if you want to call it that. It's a five-speed manual in this. Alright, another thing I want to get into is Fiorano. So, let's finish up this lap here. We'll jump on over to Fiorano. If you guys have a car you want to see, let me know. I'll try and throw it up. I only got about an hour here, but uh, do my best to get them all in there, get laps of them all. I think the next one I want to go with is the 458. It's a road-going version of it, uh, but I just love the 458's engine, so if we can hear that engine note, that'll be pretty. Shut up, Chris.
Uh, I think once you get the wheel set up and stuff in Project Cars 2, it works just fine. I've uh, done 24 hour races, 12 hour races, <laughs> lots of races in Project Cars 2. It's just about getting the wheels set up right. Thanks everybody for hitting the like button. Appreciate that. What kind of wheel do you have, Anchor? Okay, let's take it over to Fiorano. Charlie, me too. I'm excited for these Ferraris. Four, five, eight. Uh, what color is this? Where is our uh, own Gylo Modena 7? <laughs> So let's check out the settings here. Uh, we got road tires, put the softs on, lower it quite a bit. So I have a uh, Speak of the Devil. This doesn't have a... Whoo, damn. Yeah, Anchor, um, I have a video of my Project Cars 2 wheel setup. Uh, my force feedback settings should be on my channel. Um, I can help you get it feeling right. Mainly the force feedback's a little too strong by default. I have no idea where I'm going around Fiorano. This car is very forgiving though. Well, I appreciate that the 488 is a masterpiece and refined and further improved. Four, five. Oh no! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> the 488, in my opinion, uh, doesn't have as good an engine note as the 458 did, especially in GT3 spec. Go look up a video of uh, the 458 at Monza. Hey Connor, what's up? track it looks like yeah hey arctic gamer what's up oh 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 <laughs> shit man this is so much in chat i apologize guys it's like into a hairpin okay i gotta get it now doesn't look like it's a very long circuit what's up guys 
Hey, Valley Kid, a wild style. I don't know what this is here. Looks like splits. That's interesting. Maybe that's... So then we go under the overpass and back to the start. Okay. Promise by the end of this I'll have the hang of it. This car feels like it might have a little hoon in it. I feel like maybe it'll get a bit of... Sliding going on. Very well balanced straight out the gate. And I did it again. That's <laughs> shit. I can't. Hey Adrian. Apologize, I don't know anything about Fiorano. This is the 458 Speciale. Let's see if we can get a replay going on. You can see me in the gravel there. Sorry, I'm trying to update my... There we go. So we got this in Gylo Modena. For our buddy Gylo. It is a DLC car. We are in the Ferrari DLC pack. All right, let's try some other stuff. Hey, Jack, what's up, man? Four, five, eight, indeed. <laughs> I know, I gotta work on uh, my driving there. This is one of the ones that I really want. So we got four speed H pattern. We'll go something in black. Oh, I wanted to change the time. Hey, Moco Moco Arigato. Domo Arigato. <laughs> that was purely out of spite. I want to change the time here. I want to be able to see. <laughs> that was purely out of spite that right as I left for work, of course, it uh, the DLC drops. Let's go maybe mid-morning. Yeah, RVR was streaming this earlier. If you haven't checked out Mocha Mocha Panda's setup, man, he's got triple monitors. He's got awesome stuff. You guys should definitely go check out his channel. Um, RVR2 has a way better setup than me. <laughs> I'm just a pleb here with my uh, G27. That's a boatload of fuel, isn't it? sound.
break, 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 break. I made it! Almost! <laughs> I did drive the F40, yes. I'll drive it again here in a sec. I did some laps of Mugello. That's the first car I drove, of course. Thanks for stopping by, Tomahawk. Appreciate it. Yeah, man, this thing sounds nice. I think it's in uh, Vintage GTC now, so we have some more cars. I like the little touch that they give your driver a more uh, historic looking uh, outfit as well. you can get a little sideways with this car too. It's got a nice, uh, Urano. It's called like Pisto, uh, something Fiorano. Is that a, like a artifact there? I think there's a bug. Did you see that? It's that little floaty thing there. Is it part of the, the brake assembly maybe? lot of body roll on that. <laughs> but sometimes that's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's in there. It's under like uh, Pisto Fiorano or something like that. Okay, the car I really wanted to try is the new race. Well, that's a race car, I guess. So we have a race car there. Pista di Fiorano. So, Yuri tried this earlier. We got the 512 BBLM. We'll give that a try here in a sec. Let's go back to Mugello. Ah, sorry, man. <laughs> Yeah, the F40 is a little understeery. It's not quite... Well, I'm used to the F40 LM, so... Okay, so this is a proper race car. Um, excessive. Not much on the anti-roll bar side. set up here. What was it? Breaking. Not a whole f full load of fuel. Hopefully Yuri and I will be able to do a Mugello race tomorrow. We can probably do the 355 challenge here. Um... It depends. I need to do a series of videos on how I set up cars. Um, it really depends on what category. I tend, generally, you want to go for basically, I try and set it up for the lowest ride height where you're not like bottoming. Uh, that's one easy thing. Alright man, thanks for stopping by RBR. 
Okay, Adrian, I'm, I'm hoping here in the next couple of weeks to be able to start doing some uh, car setup videos. Um, yeah, like I said, depending on what you drive um, and what you're doing, it varies. Like for endurance racing, I go for like the most stable setup, so I'll generally go a little softer and probably a little more downforce. If you're doing something like a time trial, uh, low downforce, kind of twitchy car, that's going to give you the best response, but you might not be able to do uh, 100 laps in or whatever without crashing. This car has a nice balance though. I find that a lot of the uh, a lot of the standard setups run up probably, in my opinion, too much um, rear toe angle. That makes it harder to turn the car in. It also makes the car more stable though and less prone to oversteer. I generally like a uh, a more let's call it understeery setup. Uh, I don't like a lot of oversteer, uh, but the car's got to be able the back end's got to be able to turn basically. So. And I'm by no means an expert on car setup, I just have my experience and a bit of reading. Let me know what to do. A good book um, is Tune to Win by Carol Smith. That's a good uh, book for learning about car setup. I found a PDF of it online for, for free, so find that there. It's a six speed. We'll ever get up in six, though. Yeah, the main thing is getting the ride height low as low as possible. You want the center of gravity as low as possible, and don't always, you know, go as stiff as possible or anything. Yeah, and Project Cars 2 oversteer is killer. It's very hard to hold, so. I don't like oversteer on uh, on braking. I don't like a loose rear end under braking. That's the main point at which I'm fine with on throttle oversteer on corner exit and stuff like that. But for hitting the uh, like button for me. Helps me out. All right, let's see. Uh, what about my... What kind of liveries we got here? Oh, that's the wrong car. That's the wrong car. Um... Said they were a little slow. Let's see how they are. Mugello. All right, looks good.
<laughs> hey, Hot Pockets, go back to school. Hot Pockets. No idea what time I set it to. Thanks, buddy. Not gonna be on too long, so don't worry. You won't miss, won't miss a ton. Downforce. Oh man, you can put a lot of downforce on there. Um, I don't know if I would call Mugello a downforce circuit per se. So one of the features of the update 1.7 was improved AI. They look to be, well, they're a little slow. Let's that way, at least here. But I haven't been thoroughly rammed off the track yet as we go sideways. Pretty quick through the second half here. And again, I'm pretty slow. I really don't know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, they they've updated them um, with this new patch. I they don't go into detail what they did, but they also say they worked on the track limits. Turned in way too early there. Pocket Bros have on you, man. No idea where to break. Not outrageously fast. No slouches either, though. They're quick through here, though. I really don't have that sector down. This car is feeling nice though, I'm liking the balance it's given me. Maybe a bit too much rear wing though. Oh! Interesting, he backed off. Don't have them on super aggressive. Too early there again. Yeah, it's got pretty good grip. A little understeery, but that might be my. Oh! I 
spoke too soon. <laughs> What other cars do we have? That's in its own class. Um, class is this in group four. Includes I wasn't driving very well either. I was kind of breaking probably at the wrong point, but So this looks like we got the Porsche, the um, M1, and this car in here now. That's an interesting choice. Well, I'm not really going to race, so whatever. No time to... Back our view out here. Actually see. No idea how these cars are balanced against each other, but... Seemed to be a little tamer on the first lap. I know they had issues previously where they were really aggressive on first laps. Okay. <laughs> it's quite interesting. car under steers. Whoops, I want to look at the replay. Nice looking car. 80s, 80s, 90s ish. Crazy AI going on. Definitely needs a bit of setup work. And I need to learn the circuit better. Don't know anything about the racing history of this car. Because that car is spiking off the track. <laughs> Let's go back to the F40. <laughs> Try the short layout here. <clears throat> F40. <laughs> Mm. 
Okay, so what was it last time? We had a bit of understeer. No wing adjustment, though. That is something. Really, that's as soft as you can go. Pop up headlights! <laughs> Know what we should be doing? We should be setting a time trial time. Got like five minutes here. I have a feeling I'm not going to be fastest, but <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> Strike where there's nobody on the leaderboard. Those are always the best records, right? There's nobody up there. Give me away my time trial secrets here. <laughs> All right, so it cuts off there. That's so weird. It's a weird transition there. if I think. I'm not sure it would make a great drift car. <laughs> it's got a little slide in it though. Definitely not as savage as the LM version.
unintentional drift. <laughs> It needs to I need to tweak the differential on it. Probably could use a bit of damping work as well. Want to see my awesome Tokyo drift? I'm like second to last. Oh wait, no. First! I'm first! I have the record! Because <laughs> nobody else set one! <laughs> Always drift. Never ask out of how many. <laughs> That's the secret. That's a big step, man. Alright, we'll see. Up. Hey Dark Lant, what's up? <laughs> World record! It's a gone Dark Lant. For style, of course. Not because I shifted from fifth to third and locked the rear end. Of course not. All for style. Don't know this part of the track. No, I 
didn't get the record. One more lap. One more. The brakes are definitely 80s car brakes, though. And they barely work. It's all right. It's really, really well balanced. So. like driving many road cars. Hey James, what's up buddy? But I do enjoy this car. It's basically a race car. Long sweeping left hander. Not even close. <laughs> hey, Xavier. See you, Connor. I think it is basically time to end. So this has been the Ferrari DLC, the Ferrari Essentials Pack. It's out now for Project Cars 2. You get two new circuits. You get Mugello and Fiorano. Uh, two layouts of Mugello, GP, and a short version. Um, definitely going to be diving into this some more. We'll go back. We'll check out the cars one more time. So, a lot of good classics. Indeed, indeed, I'm only third. Gotta get my, uh, gotta get my game on. <laughs> so yeah, you get 250 GT, 250 Testarossa, that's a great car, I enjoyed that. Uh, the GT, uh, RVR was driving that. 458 Speciale, great engine note, 512 BBLM, um, F12 TDF, uh, good car, road car, 355 Challenge, uh, be doing some of that hopefully tomorrow with Yuri, my favorite car of all time, the F40 and the FFX, FXXK, which is a beast. So... That's been the Ferrari DLC. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks for hitting the like button. If uh, you like this, make sure to hit that for me. It helps me out. I will be hopefully back tomorrow morning with some racing with Yuri. And until then, have a good one. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.